to sing, to walk is to dance, the myth that we follow. Now we have the boys from Blue House. Yellow House.
Let us give it. Thank you, dear friends, for your graceful cultural steps. Respect that. Bear and boss of the best program, Mr. Amrich. Respect that. Reverend Father Tommy, the principal of St. Javier Higher Secondary School, the vice principal, the teachers, the faculty, the sisters, parents, the Les Council Chairman from Mallory Village, President Mapo, leaders, well-wishers, and my dear students. A very good morning to each and every one of you. And I would also like to wish every one of you a happy cultural day. Today, seeing so many young people in their colorful traditional attires with so much life, with full of energy, it definitely makes every one of us happy, young and energetic too. Meeting young people, interacting with young people it's always very interesting. We also learn so many things from young people like you. And for us, we also make it a point to always keep in constant touch with young students to update ourselves too. Thank you so much. Uh, it also reminds me of my own school days when I was young student like you in my school days I also participated in many school events and I have so many fond memories of my school days even today and this is a very important day for everyone us every one of us to weave a memory and cherish in our lifetime. Before I came to Mallory as your additional deputy commissioner, I have never visited this Mallory subdivision. And I knew very little about this Mallory area. But even before my joining here, even before my coming here as the ADC, I've heard of this St. Xavier School. Even before coming to Mallory, I've heard of this school. This school has been providing a human service to the people of this area, not only this area, but to the adjoining areas too. This school has been given a great service to the people. And this school has produced so many officers, so many important personalities. And I urge every one of you to remember that and also try to follow the footsteps of your seniors who now are doing very well in life. Today, I feel honored and privileged to be a part of uh, this program. I thank the school authorities for inviting me to be in your meets. And also, I extend my heartfelt gratitude for according me a very warm welcome and also showering me with your uh, gift. On this cultural day, we are celebrating under the team honoring our roots. I think the team is very appropriate. It's very befitting to this occasion of cultural day. Now, how do we honor our roots? 
I think it all starts with knowing ourselves, knowing who you are, knowing who we are, from where we have come and how we have come. I think it all starts with that. And how do we know ourselves? How do we identify ourselves? We, are, we identify ourselves with our culture, through our culture. And as Mr. Asa has highlighted very clearly about what culture is and the functional attributes of culture, I think we all should know our identity, our culture. Our culture, as Mr. Asa has said, it's a way of life. It includes our food habit, it includes our dresses, the language, our customs, values, and so on. And culture is not static. It is very dynamic in the sense that it passes, our cultural traits, our cultural heritage passes on from one generation to another. So it's very dynamic. Now speaking about our culture, we, have, we as Nagas, we also have rich culture. We have our own ethos. We have our own customs, our value systems, and so on. In today's generation, we should also introspect, and we should also study how culture has evolved over the past years. What our forefathers, what our fathers, what our grandparents were known for. I think we should also try to uh, study that. Nagas at one point of time were known for our honesty, for our hardworking, for our integrity. It is known to the outside world even. Now, the values for which Nagas have been so popular those days, are those values relevant and are those values important or not? Is today's generation known for those good values or not? I think as young students, as young people gathered here, we seriously need to think about that. Even during our days, the respect for elders, it was a value. We were taught to respect our seniors, our elders. We were taught to be honest. We were taught to practice integrity. Now, to be very frank, our cultural values, our cultural ethos, the good practices, many such good practices are being uh, eroded. We are seeing erosion of so many good practices. Now, we see little respect for elders, the regard for elders. I think uh, that is a, that is a cause of concern for every one of us. Let us try to uphold the good values practiced by our parents, our grandparents, and our great-grandparents. Honoring our youth, showcasing our, our culture, that alone is not enough. We need to nurture our culture. We need to promote our culture. So kindly bear it in mind, and we should also be proud of who we are. Now, we are seeing so many uh, trends, Western trends coming to our society. There, there may be I don't say it's wrong. I don't say it's wrong that we are, you know, we are also influenced by uh, Western cultures. I'm not saying it's wrong. But while embracing the good aspects of Westernization, 
I think we should also need to protect and preserve our culture. So I would like to advise the students not to behave like a Korean. Not, don't try to become a Korean. Don't try to become an American because we are not Korean, we are not American. We are Nagas. And let the people from other parts of outside world also recognize us as Nagas. Recognize our good cultural heritage and respect us for it. On this very auspicious day, I would like to urge all the students present here to keep in mind our rich cultural heritage, not only on cultural day, but promoting, preserving our culture should be a part of our life. So with these few words, I once again convey my best wishes to all the students and to St. Xavier Higher Secondary School. May you continue to grow to greater height and bring about a positive change in our society. Thank you. Thank you, dear sir, for giving us the valuable inputs about culture.